Hello and welcome back to another video. Ah, today I'm gonna show you an old uh, video of uh, me working out in the gym as a swimmer. So these are specific exercises that you can do at the gym if you want to work out for swimming purposes. Okay, so it's a lot different than weight training for building up size or bodybuilding or just gaining a lot of muscle okay for swimmers it's the complete opposite we want as little muscle as possible when we try to train outside of the water whatever you do in the gym make sure you do a lot of reps and make sure the weight is very light so the first exercise that you see me doing right now are single pull downs with the cable so this motion right here mimics the front crawl pulling action so I'm not really counting, I'm not really being mindful of how many sets or reps that I do. I just keep going until it hurts, alright? So that's the only good indicator. If you're doing like, for example, 10 maximum every time, then you're, you're putting up too much weight, in my opinion. So go for very, very, very light weight and try to pull as many times as possible. It feels like you're actually mimicking pulling in the water just very little weight added and we're gonna work on both sides and make sure your arm is straight a uh, little bit of bend on the elbows and just pull straight down towards your pocket or your hips all right just like when we're pulling in front crawl we want to pull like we're pulling the water towards our pocket the next exercise is with dumbbells again go for very very light dumbbells and just push them or press them upwards in a shoulder press motion as you see right now so my arms are very narrow and this mimics the breaststroke striking action so when we spear the water towards us this is the motion that we're doing right now i'm using very very light dumbbells again don't go for anything heavier than say like 10 pounds in my opinion okay because we want to do as many reps as possible uh, to mimic the the breaststroke striking motion as you can see my arms are very close together my elbows are very close and I'm just just spearing it up my head so I'm not holding it I'm not doing anything static I'm just trying to mimic my breaststroke spearing motion as you can see so I'm trying to oomph it up there not using my muscles but oomph it up there so do the same as you work out next exercise single leg extensions okay these are very great for flutter kicks okay a lot of people I know struggle with flutter kick they have very weak quads and they need an exercise in the gym to improve their leg muscles. So this exercise that you see me doing right now, notice that it's very different from a normal single leg extension. So as you can see, my shoes or my toes are pointed. So that's the motion that we do with our flutter kick. Our, our feet are always pointed, toes always pointed. And I work on single leg. Usually, traditionally, we do double leg at the gym. But for flutter kick, we want to mimic the flutter kicking motion. So one leg at a time, just keep going. Again, don't count the sets, don't count the reps. Just keep going as, as much as you can until failure. Next exercise, hamstring curls, okay? This motion right here mimics the whip kick when you do your breaststroke, okay? So a lot of people have a hard time recoiling their legs back towards their butt as they do the whip kick. They don't understand it and, or they don't have the muscle to do this repetitively. So this exercise using, using the hamstring curl machine at your gym just does wonders, okay? So just do as many as you can until failure and then after every set yeah stretch it out as you see me doing right now so the next exercise going back to upper body are these dumbbell rows that you see me doing single and these motion this motion right here there's two motions right so you row it up and then you extend your tricep outwards okay so it's a row and a tricep extension and this exercise does wonders for your butterfly pull okay so butterfly requires a lot of upper body strength and a lot of us don't really have that if we've never worked out in the gym so I recommend you do this motion right here that you see me doing okay so you row it back and then you tricep extend it away from you and make sure you control this motion because you really want to develop power in your butterfly pull and this exercise will really fix that and Make sure you isolate each arm. Don't try to do both arms at the same time just because you might have one arm that's weaker or stronger. And final exercise are static stretching holds. Okay, so this is what I do to mimic a glide or a diving position. Okay, so a lot of us don't, are not familiar with the actual glide position. We think that we're straight in the water, but in fact, it's actually more curved or bent. 
So this static hold that you see me doing right now does wonders for your, your posture and your position. So all I'm doing is my toes are planted on the ground, heels up, butt planted against the wall, shoulders planted against the wall, head planted against the wall, back of my hand planted against the wall. So everything is just nice and flat. That's what I want. And I'm reversing the position, so I want to work on both sides. So leaning against the wall and then leaning my chest against the wall as well and just holding it for as long as I can, just being comfortable. All you have to do is just breathe. Breathe, be comfortable, and just feel the, the stretch, okay? You want to feel like you know, something's pulling you from above. Don't give any slack. Make sure everything in your body is tense as you do this motion. And uh, this will do wonders for your gliding position. I hope this video has helped. And if you want to learn how to swim, please visit my website, 7dayswim.co, where you can learn how to swim on your own by signing up for my online course where thousands have already signed up and can now successfully swim. So you can be part of our family clicking the link down below. You get instant access. So you have nothing to lose. I definitely recommend that you give it a try and learn how to swim this summer or this year if you can. All right. So thanks for watching. My name's Justin and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.